Hello, I am Dylan Campbell. Welcome to my talk on solving the blind perspective endpoint problem end-to-end. -end. Blind PNP is the problem of estimating the camera pose from which a set of 2D points were viewed relative to a 3D point set without prior knowledge of the 2D-3D correspondences. Jointly solving for position, orientation, and correspondences is extremely challenging because the search space is very large. Fortunately, it is a coupled problem. The pose can be found easily given the correspondences and vice versa. But 2D, 3D correspondences are difficult to obtain, particularly across modalities. For example, a point set captured by a laser scanner has no visual information associated with it, making the correspondence problem challenging. Other relevant situations include day-night localization, where visual features change, and privacy-preserving localization. Therefore, we need to solve for pose and correspondences jointly. While a fundamental technique for many computer vision and robotics applications, including visual localization and augmented reality, the camera pose estimation problem remains challenging and has not yet been satisfactorily solved. Existing approaches assume that noisy correspondences are provided, that a good pose prior is available, that the problem size is small, or that training images from the test scene are available. When correspondences can be found, classical algorithms such as PNP can be applied, coupled with RANSAC, global optimization, or network estimated weights to improve robustness to outlier correspondences. There's been a lot of work on large scale localization which has even greater demands on outlier robustness. These works share the assumption that there is a reasonable expectation that 2D, 3D correspondences can be found, such as when 3D points contain visual information like in structure from motion. On a parallel track, there has been a lot of work in recent years introducing deep learning to the problem of camera pose estimation. These approaches require a large training set of images and poses to learn 2D, 3D correspondences and thereby regress pose. However, Sattler et al. showed last year that this essentially solves an image retrieval task rather than reasoning about 3D structure. In addition, the camera is not localized with respect to an explicit 3D map, instead representing the scene implicitly. DSAC and extensions can localize with respect to a 3D model, but require many training images from the test scene. In contrast, we eschew visual information to learn generalizable geometric features and never see the test scene during training. Other work takes an optimization approach to solving the joint correspondence pose problem, including those that require pose priors and some more recent work that applies global optimization. However, these optimal methods are time consuming and limited to a moderate number of points, unlike our orders of magnitude faster approach. We propose the first fully end-to-end -end trainable network for solving the blind PNP problem efficiently and globally, that is, without the need for pose priors. We make use of recent results in differentiating optimization problems to incorporate geometric model fitting into an end-to-end -end learning framework, including Synchorn, RANSAC, and PNP algorithms. We combine standard neural layers with declarative layers in a bi-level optimization framework to instantiate the traditional camera pose estimation pipeline of feature extraction, feature matching, and optimization in a single neural network. The input is a set of 2D and 3D point coordinates from which pointwise features are extracted using ResNet-like network layers. Feature matching is then performed by computing the pairwise distance between the point features and using the Synchorn algorithm to obtain a joint correspondence probability matrix. Finally, a probability-weighted blind PNP objective function is optimized from a RANSAC initialization to estimate the camera rotation and translation. The key contribution of this work is showing how this optimization procedure may be incorporated into an end-to-end -end learnable network by the use of declarative layers. That is, we focus on the optimization part of the pipeline, the remit of the PNP solver itself. To this end, we use existing network architectures for feature extraction and matching. However, our key insight is that the camera pose optimization algorithms, 
including robust global search techniques such as RANSAC and state-of-the-art nonlinear PNP solvers, can be seamlessly integrated into an end-to-end -end deep learning framework. We use the Deep Declarative Networks framework to formulate network layers as solving an optimization problem. These declarative layers are more flexible and general than standard layers, since they admit constraints on the output and decouple the gradient computation from the algorithm used to solve the optimization problem. Crucially, the technique of implicit differentiation enables the backpropagation of gradients through a declarative layer without having to traverse the forward processing function. To compute the correspondence probability matrix from the pairwise feature distance matrix, we use the efficient Sinkhorn algorithm. Solving an optimal transport problem allows the network to perform global search for the best joint correspondence probabilities, resolving ambiguities and approaching a one-to-one -one correspondence matrix as desired. The benefits of enclosing this algorithm in a declarative layer include being able to run the algorithm to convergence rather than fixing the number of iterations and obviating the need to, for unrolling the algorithmic steps and maintaining the requisite computation graph, which saves a significant amount of memory. To compute the camera position and orientation from the points and correspondence probability matrix, we optimize a robust blind PNP objective function weighted by the correspondence probabilities. Since the objective function is non-convex with many local minima, and we want a good estimate of the camera pose on average for the gradients to be helpful, we apply robust randomized global search, that is, RANSAC. The declarative framework gives us the opportunity to incorporate this non-differentiable algorithm into an end-to-end -end learning network, since the non-differentiability of this intermediate computation is irrelevant to the gradient calculation for the layer as a whole. Using this RANSAC initialization, we then use the LBFGS optimizer to refine the pose estimate. Note that this procedure for robustly estimating the camera pose parameters has no analytic solution and involves a non-differentiable algorithm. It would not be possible to use standard techniques such as explicit or automatic differentiation to obtain the gradient. The key experiment was relocalizing a camera from a single photo with respect to a point set of a scene. Here the top row shows the results of a recent globally optimal method, GOSMA, and the bottom row shows our results, where the 3D points are projected into the image using the estimated camera pose. Our approach is able to accurately recover the true camera pose for these examples. This shows our result in blue for the camera frustrum coinciding with the ground truth in black, unlike the globally optimal method in red. Note that the network has never seen any of the test scenes during training and has to localize the camera from a single photo. In summary, I have presented the first end-to-end -end network for solving the blind PNP problem. The key contribution is demonstrating how a variety of algorithms from visual geometry and elsewhere can be deployed as declarative layers in the network. This includes the novel use of RANSAC within the training loop without interfering with backpropagation. Thank you.